long and complex answer. <laughs>、Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Tan. I'm a breast endocrine surgeon、uh, practicing in Gleneagles Hospital,、uh, Mount E Novena Hospital, at Pawe East Hospital. I've been a surgeon for almost ten years、uh, and a doctor since two zero zero three. There are many reasons why a patient may need to have their thyroid removed.、Uh, the thyroid gland is a gland in the neck, and it, its purpose is to produce thyroid hormones.、Uh, and sometimes, some patients may have excessive overproduction of thyroid hormones, and this is known as hyperthyroidism. An option that the doctor may offer the patient in this instance is to remove the thyroid gland, so as to、uh, reduce the production or take away the production of the of thyroid hormones. Other reasons why a thyroid gland、uh, Uh, may need to be removed is if there was a lump in the thyroid gland.、Uh, if this lump was cancerous, obviously we need to remove this thyroid gland.、Uh, but otherwise, if the lump was benign, then it depends on what problems or symptoms that the patient have from this lump. Sometimes this lump may be compressing on the windpipe or the swallowing pipe and may have caused a lot of problems for the patients. And hence, doctors may then recommend to remove、uh, that part of the thyroid gland. So there are many different types of thyroid surgery,、uh, depending on the reason、uh, why the doctor advises、uh, thyroid surgery. They may either advise to remove either half the thyroid gland, and this is called a hemi-thyroidectomy, or the entire thyroid gland, which is a total thyroidectomy.、Uh, in instances where there was、uh, thyroid cancer involved, the doctor may also advise to remove、uh, the surrounding lymph nodes around the thyroid gland as well. Thyroid operations in general are not large operations. The, they usually to remove the entire thyroid gland probably takes about two to three hours to do. I often advise my patients to rest for one to two weeks, but the total recovery time can be four to six weeks long.、Um, they not often stay in hospital for one to two days,、uh, uh, but I expect that they should be able to eat, drink, and do most things within the same day of the operation once they are awake. I don't have any restrictions for my patients、uh, in terms of food after they have thyroid surgery,、uh, but I generally advise them to eat healthy because we know that when a patient eats healthy, the wounds and、uh, the recovery time is much faster.、Uh, however, I also sometimes do warn them that after thyroid surgery, they may have a bit of soreness in their throat. So I tell them that if that happens, then、uh, it may be easier to eat soft diet in the first half a week after the operation. So thyroid surgery is not a big operation; it is a, a, a medium-sized operation. However, I always pre-warn my patients there are certain risks that may be associated with it. Risk means that、uh, there may be certain potential complications uh, 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 when we when we do surgery, and they have to be aware of that. I always warn them that they after the surgery they will have a scar on their neck, and so uh, uh, they have to be aware of that.、Uh, scars can. Uh, differ by how obvious they look, and there are obviously certain things that we can give to reduce the extent of scarring.、Uh, other potential long-term complications from thyroid surgery are a potential injury to the recurrent laryngeal nerve.、Uh, this is a nerve that runs to the voice box and controls the voice box, and hence, if this was injured,、uh, the patient may have permanent、uh, voice changes.、Uh, the chance of injuring this nerve is less than one percent.、Uh, If that happens, then、uh, apart from voice changes, the patient may also have swallowing problems uh, as well as uh, uh, breathing uh, difficulties. Um, other uh, potential uh, complications of thyroid surgery is injuries to the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland are four glands that sit around the thyroid、uh, gland, and they basically control、uh, regulation of calcium.、Uh, if this was injured, then、uh, the calcium will, of the patient will be very low,、uh, and may need supplementation with、uh, calcium supplements.、Um, The chance of、uh, inj injuring and causing permanent、uh, low calcium in patients after thyroid surgery is less than two percent.